Hello everybody, this is the Shockinator 1000 here with Bonnie for Duty, welcoming you back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we managed to battle every last boss that we faced against in all of the dungeons that we came across so far. And it's brought us up to this stage. So without any further ado, we're going to climb up the stairs and see... We are in a maze, as it seems. Okay. So, I think it's fair to say, I think we need to go through this door. So, third, first, fourth, and second. You gotta remember that order. Link, you must remember well the appearance of this room. The shape of the floor, the number of items ha hanging on the walls. Such things are the keys to solving the riddles that lie ahead. Do not overlook anything. Okay, so remember. Three. One. Four. Two. And you can also see, they actually got the symbols of the bosses that we faced against. And, believe me when I say this, it all depends on who you faced against first. I think. Unless it's always that code. 3142. So you've got to remember that. Go over to the other side. And it will tell you again, three, one, four, two. Get your boomerang and highlight it in that order. Three, one, four, two. With that, you will have created a dark portal and the king of red lions is somehow here I see so this is the portal through which Ganon was able to seep into the unsuspecting world above Link we shall make use of this path that Ganon created for himself if there is anything from the world above that you believe you need then climb into the boat and enter the column of darkness. Yeah, so that portal takes you back to the upper world. In case there's anything you missed, anything at all, you can take that portal, providing that you've got the King of Red Lions with you, up to the other upper world and do exactly what you need to do. But I've already got everything I need to do. So, we set up our bombs, and we need to blow up that door. Okay, we don't need to set that blow up that door. So what do we need to do then? Hmm. Let's go back through here again. By the way, in case you're wondering, do not jump down there because it is a dead end. There's a sign over here. I think we can read it. Yeah, let's read it. The sword hilts of my servants who lurk deep in the darkness shall be the guideposts that point to me. Okay, so... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's read that again. Just to make sure. The sword hilts of my servants who look deep into the darkness shall be guy post that point to me. Right. So the sword hilts. So basically what it means is you battle these servants and whichever direction the sword falls is where you do is where you have to go. I really don't understand what you have to do. Oh! 
Skull hammer. No. It's not the skull hammer. What do you have to do? I don't see any, um... Secrets or anything. What's this? Uh, this is strange. Do we? In fact. I'm actually going to take the portal, so that way I can show you exactly where it takes you. As you can see, it takes you straight to Ganondorf's tower. Okay? So let's go back down. Okay, jump out the boat. Head through the door. Oh, jeez. I really haven't got a clue. There's like two main doors. One I told you a code, the other one where you had to put in a code. Ah, jeez, jeez, jeez. Uh, I really do not know what to do at this point. I see a door I need to go through, but it doesn't get destroyed by a bomb or a skull hammer. So I can't think of anything else left to do. Seriously, I really can't think. I really, really cannot think. Right, so let's have a look. There are four chandeliers. Okay, so it's talking about the room that we was in. Okay. Since we found the head, I Exit the room and go back to the room with the four cylinders. Read the inscription on the stone tablet to the left, then jump into the darkness. Wait. Oh, oh, okay, I got it now, I got it. Okay, so you're meant to go in here, and you're meant to actually jump in there. And now, we got a return of Phantom Ganon. You face against him. Okay. Now, you actually have to face against every single Phantom Ganon because when he drops his sword, he actually tells you where you need to go. Gotta do the hurricane. Okay, right. So you go down that door. And guess what? You gotta face against another one!
Okay, down that door. Right. Whoa! Okay, that was a big mistake. Tennis! And... That door. Okay. Thank you. That door over there. Right. Usually I would use the um, video to actually show me the exact location of where you have to go every time because the path never changes. Ow. That was a fast serve. Okay. Okay, that way. And I think this should be the last one. Yeah, when I saw it was going to be the tennis. Ow. Oh, oh come on! I swung too soon. Whoa. Okay, so this one's actually doing all three attacks. Alright, hurricane spin. Okay, that way. Right, last chamber now. And guess who the boss is? Yep, it's another Phantom Ganon. Ah, oh, damn it, I swung too soon. I'm not gonna lie, battling against Phantom Ganon is really nice. We're doing it over and over and over again. There you go. Gee, I didn't know that was the door we needed to take because considering the fact that it was the only door we needed to take. But you do need to open this treasure chest. It is very, very important. Because you, my friends, before encountering Ganon, we'll get the light arrows. When you take out your bow, you set out to change arrowheads and then fire away. The sacred light of these arrows can pierce through evil itself. But they do use magic. A heck of a lot. So, I would consider saving at this point. But you never know. What may occur? Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Good God! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, we dodged it. Okay. He dodged it again. 
Ow. I was actually preparing myself ready for the hurricane spin. Oh, come on, I hit that. He's proving that that's actually not how you beat him. I'm just replenishing my health. There it is. Oh there you are. <laughs> Didn't see it go that fast, did you? I thought he was finished. He keeps dodging it. Go into the wall, it'll stop my dizziness. Oh my god, seriously! Find some Ganon! Okay, seriously, that camera seriously does get messed up every time I... Oh, oh, of course! Oh, I'm so stupid sometimes. I do so long in a battle before I then finally realize what I'm actually meant to do and that door I just realized how you break it you break it using the sword that Phantom Ganon uses okay now you save walk through the door and you got this very long chamber. I'm gonna replenish my magic and I would like to replenish my health too, but then again I got three fairies, so there's nothing wrong with that. I well I guess we'll be coming to that. I say it's time for me to call things to an end to this episode. So next time on Legend of Settle Wind Waker HD, it might be the finale. See you guys then.